Good evening to all my Periscope followers and listeners. This is uh, your friend, Pastor Omar Muhammad, coming to you live from my living room. Uh, Today is Thankful Throwback Thursdays. Uh, I see you out there. Thank you for showing. If you wouldn't mind telling me your name and telling me where you're from, that will be helpful. So as, uh, as I understand in Periscope, it enhances our discussion. What you're looking at uh, in front of you right now is uh, a passage of scripture coming from the Christian Bible. Yes, it's an ancient text from the book of Hebrews, and it says this, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Some have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. So today is thankful throwback throw thank Thursdays and I am uh, throwing back to going to the old ancient scripture and just looking at it and seeing what is going on there. For to me, today was a long day. I'm very, very tired. Thank you for all those people who are joining. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am a proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Today is thankful throwback, throw Thursdays, and I'm, I'm so very thankful uh, for all that God is doing in my life, and I'm thankful for what he's doing in your life, too. Today... Uh, I just finished my class with my students at the King's University here, and it was a big challenge today because the challenge today was I asked them, I always start my, my classes with prayer, and so today uh, we are a book, we're studying from the book of Revelation in the, um, the Bible, and uh, today, I, but the challenge was I want all of us to pray, um, but the prayer had to do with nothing but asking, we, we couldn't ask God for anything. The only thing I wanted the young people to do was to thank God, to thank God. And so today, um, this scripture really stood out to me, and so I wanted to thank God and talk about this scripture. The scripture that I'm talking about today, it said from Hebrews, it said, uh, keep on loving one another, brothers and sisters, and do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. And so I realized that today I was very, very thankful. Uh, I had a meeting today with a young lady who I met uh, just being, as the scripture said, I didn't know the person, never met them before. I was actually on a uh, date with my wife. We were on our uh, 16th wedding anniversary, if you can believe that, 16th wedding anniversary. And we were doing a stroll down on the beach, one of the beach cities here in California. And while we were there, there was a woman in the place who was inquiring about different things uh, while we were in the store. And um, and the woman started asking some questions to my wife, like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Or what, what uh, and, and I think it was incense, because they asked me, what's your favorite incense? And I went and showed her my favorite incense. And I was like, okay, that was good. And um, But she kept on talking and talking and talking. I'm like, who is this stranger? What is going on? Why is my wife talking to her, sharing all her business? And next thing you know, before the conversation was over, they were exchanging numbers and promising to talk again to one another soon. So, um, and even on that day, that very same day, we went out to the uh, pier, we walked on the beach, and while we were out there, we ran into this lady again. It was like, what is going on with this lady? And so, it brings this this scripture to mind, that the scripture says um, that we are not to be forgetful. Um, and that we are to, to, to entertain strangers. He says, by entertaining strangers, sometimes we've entertained angels or, or sent messengers of God. And today, two or three weeks later, we met with this lady and we sat down and we talked to her today. We realized that she was actually an angel. She was actually a messenger sent to us. We believe that we attracted her to us because we were looking to expand our ministry, to expand out, to, to uh, rebrand ourselves, to do some things. And this lady just came out of the blue talking to us, and we got blessed. And now we, we're working with a uh, actually sent messenger from God. Now, you may have a human messenger from God, 
or you may have a spiritual messenger from God. I don't know how it's going to work out for you, but I want us to be very mindful in this day and time to not to be so quick to dismiss strangers or people that we don't know. It very may well be that the stranger that you dismiss could be an actual messenger, an angel, a sent one from God. So I want to encourage you today. That's one of the things I'm thankful for. I was thankful for, um, thankful for, for, for the strangers that God places in our lives. And the other thing I was thankful for is something I call a divine appointment. There are some times that God gives us divine appointments. And he might do it through one of these situations where of a stranger just coming into your life where you have a, a situation where you run into somebody's life, you come into contact with them, and you might have the exact, exact word that they need. You might have the idea, the concept, the situation, the healing bond that they need, or they might have that for you. We don't know how God works together. But this is one thing we do know, that God works through people. So we need to be, as, as believers and as people who are spiritually growing and maturing, we need to be those kind of people who, are, who have our ears open to hear what the Spirit is saying to the community of, of believers. Uh, to, to, we have to have our eyes open to see the wonderful ways that God might be approaching and doing things in our life. For the ancient Hebrews, at one time, they were, they were seeing God by a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And that's how they got their direction. A cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night. Another time, another person, I think it was a, uh, the prophet Moses, he was sitting down there looking at the bush and like, that bush looks strange. Why, why don't that bush just burn up? And by looking at the bush, he came right in contact with the, the presence of God. He heard God's voice. So we want to be those kind of people who who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and hearts to receive what the Spirit of God is trying to say to us in this day and time. So I hope that you are out there. If you're out there, I'd love to interact with you. I see some people are coming on, some people are going off. And when you get this replay, I hope that you remember that this is Thankful Thursdays. Thankful Throwback Thursdays with Pastor Omar. I got my old throwback Adidas hat. And uh, and uh, I'm throwing back to the old old time way of just looking at the scripture and saying, Hey, what, what is the scripture saying here? It says, keep on loving one another. That's number one. It's, this is from um, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1. That we ought to keep on loving one another. What I, what I shared last, yesterday, and uh, some of it got cut off, and it probably was a divine uh, blessing that some of it got cut off because... I was really uh, moved in, in thinking about how we have to be people who love one another. And some of us have to love uh, one another enough to stop the argument, to not be a, uh, in a situation where you're fighting one for one, word for word. You're just arguing. You're just in an argumentative spirit. You just want to fight somebody. You just want to, you just want to get somebody back. You just want to get your vengeance out. And uh, the world has enough people who are trying to get their vengeance out. There, there's, some of us need to just love one another. And we discovered today in our class that love covers a multitude of sins, the scripture says, so that, so that when we are in situations, if we allow love to over, overshadow our desire to get people back, to be right, to be the number one, to win the argument, if we allow the love of God to give us that strength to overcome that, we may be able to break that cycle of pain, that cycle of vengeance. I'm going to get you, you're going to get me, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. That's not of God. That's not the way God wants us to roll. God wants us to roll in a situation where he says, love one another. Another place it says in, in, um, in the Christian Bible, it says uh, that, that um, we will know that you're disciples of Jesus by the love that you have for one another. So, you know, we need to, we need to figure out what this love thing is. One thing is laying down your life. One thing is submitting yourself, humbling yourself, not trying to always win the fight, not always trying to get people in, in the situation. You are taking the, the high road. The high road is like, I won't stab you in the back. I won't try to get you back. I won't have vengeance. I, I'll just turn you over to God. I say, God, uh, this is your loved one. This is your child. I don't know why they mistreat me. I don't know why they're acting like that, but I'm going to handle it. Uh, yesterday, I talked about how I used to be very concerned about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, how he could just take those beatings and, and take all that kind of stuff. But I realized that Dr. King was acting in the tradition of his elder brother and his Lord and Savior, Jesus, where he's just like, you know, I'm going to lay down my life. I'm going I'm to put myself on a cross. I'm, even though I have the power to do a whole lot of stuff and, and really act a fool and bring, bring, um, bring havoc on the world, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, just because you did me wrong, I'm not going to do you wrong. Just because you, you cheated me, I'm not going to cheat you. Just because you cheated on me, I'm not going to cheat on you. I'm not going to allow your actions to transform me and to turn me into something different. So I, I hope that you are out there. I hope that you are hearing this. So that's one of the part of it. It says, keep on loving 
of one another as brothers and sisters. And then it also goes on to say, and do not forget to show hospitality. So I, was, I had to look that up and say, what does that mean? The scripture is saying that we are not to forget. Don't, don't just stop. Don't neglect showing hospitality. Being hospitable, being nice, taking care of people, blessing them. Uh, a couple of days ago, I, I'm not, I don't do this to brag or anything. I'm just doing this to kind of share with you how, 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 what it would look like if you were a hospitable person, if you were just doing your thing. So my car tire, the uh, right rear tire was uh, a little low. So I went and got the, um, some air in my tire put the air in my tire. I noticed a woman came up. There was nobody else in the car. A woman came up and, and her tire was low and she parked right alongside of me. But the spirit told me to do this. He said, just get up. Don't ask her. Don't say anything to her. Just go over to her car and fill her car, her tire with air. I did it. The lady was shocked. She came out and was like, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I said, you're welcome. And I think she was like wondering whether I was going to hit on her, whether I was going to try to make a move or do anything like that. I didn't do any of those things. Thank you, Renee. Good to see you. I'm so glad. It was good to see you tonight in class. Uh, share with your friends. Tonight, we're talking about this is thankful throwback Thursdays. Thank you for the love. I appreciate that. And we're talking about how strangers need love, too. And I was giving an example. We're coming from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 and 2, where it says this, that uh, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some have shown hospitality to angels without even knowing it. Now, and I was talking about how, how, how might that look in our life? That might look like the situation that happened with me when I was taking care. I was um, putting some air in my tire. A woman comes up. She drives up a car and drives alongside of me and positions her car so I can see her, her tire has, needs air in it. I don't even, I, right after I get the air in my tire, the, the pump was still going. I just go right to her car. I fill her car with air. And she came out the car was like, I guess she was wondering what I was doing at the bottom of her tire. But what I was doing was just being led of the spirit to fill the air up in that car. And then got that done. Then I turned around. This other lady was just complaining. She was like, ew. She worked at the, the gas station. She was like, ew, I don't want to pick this up. It's nasty. It's cockroaches. It's all this kind of stuff. Then she, her job was to pick up the trash. But the trash was overflowing. Somebody had left a whole bunch of trash. And it was just nasty. But the spirit of God said, help her. And I was like, really, Lord? It was like the spirit said, help her. So I went on over there. I said, let's give me, give me some plastic. We put on, she said, you going to help me? I'm like, yes. And it was stinking. I almost, I mean, I was like, Ugh. I was almost, almost um, threw up because it was so nasty, a situation that smelled so bad. But the spirit gave me the strength to go ahead and do it. And then I just walked away. I didn't say, ask them for anything. The lady said, I didn't even know this place had a gas station. She said, sir, if you want to wash your hand, you can go wash your hands in that gas station right there. Here's the door. Gave me the code to go in there and wash my hand. I, first time I even knew they even had a bathroom. Just by me being willing to entertain a stranger. I didn't know any of these people. Don't have any conversation with them. Never. I saw the lady at the gas station before, but the other person I never met before. I just felt like I need, need to be led of the spirit to do that. I'm just sharing with you that if we have that kind of mindset, I'm thankful that God has given us divine opportunities. He gives us divine appointments. If we have that kind of mindset, we never know what might be happening. That blessing that I just passed on to that sister with the car, it might be my daughter out there trying to get her car uh, done and a man comes up and helps my daughter in a time of need because I sowed the seed of kindness. I sowed the seed of love. I sowed the seed of unconditional, not, not even solicited. I sowed that kind of seed. It may be a situation where um, some other of my family members might need something and God used that little act of kindness that I did there to be a blessing to someone else. So I believe God is calling us to pay something forward. Sometimes we have to take the high road. Today in the class, we were talking about how, um, how Jesus is the answer to the world, but how does that work? How does that look? One of the things Jesus laid down his life, even though he could have he just dogged the people out in the world and said, I'm the holy righteous one, y'all a bunch of sinners. Y'all trying to crucify me on this cross. You're trying to uh, uh, execute me. You know, you know I'm a death row prisoner now. You know I'm, 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 I'm up for, um, for termination by the state. And, 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 and I can change this. I can do something about it. But instead of me fighting you back, instead of me fighting the religious people who put me in here, I'm going to do something even bigger than that. I'm going to follow the leading of, of my God. I'm going to lay down my life so that other people might know you don't always have to get your vengeance in. You don't always have to get people back. If we allow love to abound, if we allow the love of God to flow through us, we can do great and mighty things. So today, I'm just sharing with you a little bit of what I got out of this, and that is that do not to forget to uh, show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, you may be actually entertaining God's messengers, God's angels, God's sent one. A couple of weeks ago, we were just, I was just talking about uh, a little while ago, and I just rehashed the story quickly and get out of here. 
I was down in on my wife and I were walking on a, a, a on a beach walk uh, and we were celebrating our 16th wedding anniversary. Some strange woman just started striking up a conversation to us, and I thought it was just really strange. She asked some information. I immediately gave her the information. I was trying to get away because I was like, me and my wife, we trying to go somewhere. But she kept on engaging in my wife, and the information know we were engaged with my wife, and she's talking. And before we knew it, they were exchanging numbers. That was a couple of weeks ago. This week, we met with this lady and realized that God had actually sent us an angel. We had some situation that we wanted to do. We wanted to rebrand ourselves. We wanted to do something with our social media network. We wanted to do some things. This woman, without even saying anything about how much she would charge or anything like that, set up an appointment with us and then had all the, the elements that we needed to have in that situation. All we were doing was being hospitable. All we were doing was being kind. She was asking for saying some things, some spiritual things. We talked about how we, we do spiritual healing. We do work. Um, we do um, marriage counseling, community counseling. We, we do those kind of things. And she was just so interested in that because for herself that she said she's going to help us to be, you know, help us to help other people do what we do better. So I'm very, very thankful to God for being, applying this scripture, being thankful to uh, God for uh, just being kind to strangers because you never know what might happen. He said by doing so, you might entertain angels. So I'm going to just stop for a moment. I see a couple of people online. I don't know if you have any any action, reaction, or any thoughts to what I'm saying. I would love to share with you about those kind of things. If not, I just want to encourage you tonight to do this. Be thankful. At, at some point, we're going to first of all be thankful for things. We're going to be thankful for all that God's doing I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my children. I'm thankful for the students that I work with. I'm thankful for work and income. I'm thankful. I'm thank Be thankful. And then at one point, we're going to be thankful for nothing. Just realizing that I don't have to have anything from God to realize that he's worthy of my thanksgiving. God is just so wonderfully awesome. He's such a great uh, uh a great giver, a great lover, and that he has allowed that giving and loving to come into our hearts. It is such a beautiful thing. Thank you for joining. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am a proactive agent of change who communicates so that others might be healed, liberated, and appreciated. Today, I'm saying that we need to love some people. And let me take it a little bit further, because if you saw my hashtags, it said some things. It said immigration. It said aliens. And this kind of love that I'm talking about, this kind of being open is what we, it's going to be what we need. Now, the world is going to tell you, be scared. Don't let nobody in your country. Don't let nobody in your neighborhood. Don't let nobody in your community be isolated. Go, go. It's just us and not, not, no, nobody else. But I was sharing with the class tonight that God said he loved the world that he gave it only begotten son. He didn't come that any should be condemned, that all might come into the knowledge of his son, and the knowledge of love and the knowledge of awareness, a knowledge of healing and deliverance. God set, set up a situation so that the whole world might be delivered from selfishness and ego and pride and those things that drag down and destroy our society. And so what God wants us to do is to be ministers of reconciliation. What does that mean? He wants us to be those kind of people who bring people into connectivity and to unity and harmony with one another, but more importantly, with God. So you, my friend, if you're listening to this, I believe that this is that divine appointment that we are talking about. We're having a divine appointment right now. You and I are having a conversation. And we, even though I don't see your writing, you can write that. I love this medium and I wish that people would use that more in this medium with me. Type something. Show me something. Interact with what I'm saying. But I see you there, so I know you're listening. Listen, this is what I want to encourage you to do. Be a proactive agent of change. What I mean, go after people. Love on people. When you see that stranger, reach out to that stranger. Give that stranger a hand. Give that stranger some love. And who knows, that stranger might be the very messenger that, that, that brings the message that you need. That stranger might be your husband. That stranger might be your next wife. That stranger might be just the person that you're looking for. But you have to be open and willing to allow God to flow through you in a loving way. So that you can help and that you can heal. So that you can deliver. So that you can set free. So that you can be used of God. Who knows? The blessing that you might be coming might come, be coming through a stranger. Thank you for that love. You don't even know who that stranger is. But that stranger might have the key that you need. But if you apply this, this scriptural um, teaching that you just be kind. Right? Thank you, Renee, for coming back. Just be kind to the people who are around you. And especially to the strangers. You don't know. God might have a stranger right there for you. 
a strange man, a strange woman, a strange person, a child. And I, I'm saying, I, I'm even mindful in this day and time that we need to listen to the children because sometimes the children say the darndest things in the darn. I mean, they say, they say the things that might be the, just what you need to get on the other side, the wisdom that you need. Thank you for inviting your followers. I'm, I'm so honored and blessed. Now, that's showing some love because you, 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 just, you, just, you just a wonderful person. I thank God for that. Listen, but if you get this message today, if you, this Throwback Thursday is all about being thankful. Thankful to God for the things that you know to be thankful for and thankful to God for the things that you don't even know. And then one day we're going to be thankful for nothing. What do I mean? God don't have to do another doggone thing for us for us to just be saying, you know, I'm just thankful. God is just so good. I'm just grateful. I'm grateful, I'm, I'm grateful that I can draw a breath. I'm, I'm grateful that I can read. I'm grateful that I can, I, I can, I can interact in the world and not and not be a stranger in the world. And I'm grateful that I have an attitude and a mindset that when I see strangers, whether they're aliens as they call them, I don't even know why they use an alien because it makes it seem like something strange. But the people who are not of our same nationality or of our same nation or of our same community, uh, they can be white, black, they can be straight, gay, they can be, they can be blind, they can be, you know, whatever. If we even even the people we call talk panhandlers or bum, whatever it is, if we can have a, a attitude that that person has God's divine nature in him, that that person has the opportunity in, to be called a child of the living God, if we can have that kind of respect for humanity, imagine what kind of love will spread. We we won't be hating on people. We won't be uh, mistreating people. We will, and what God will do, He will turn our situations around. When we become those kind of people, we will begin to see angels come into our land. I'm not, I'm not necessarily, I don't know if I've ever seen an angel, like the angelic messengers that you hear about of old biblical times, but I sure saw some people who I've talked to as a stranger, and they just blessed me with some words, some nuggets, some love, some appreciation, some insight, some, some, some things. So I, I hope you got my message today. Love on some people. Two things. We're going to love God for all that he has done for us. And then at the point, we're going to go up to him for just being. And then we're going to be kind to strangers. That whole immigration policy thing, ask God to give you some wisdom and knowledge and understanding about what really, what's really going on with that. If a person get here and they're here, then we need to figure out a way to bless them and let them become a blessing to us. That's entertaining strangers because we don't know. By entertaining strangers, we might end up getting blessed ourselves. If you're with me, let me know. Send me some love. If you have any questions or concerns before I get up out of here, because it's, it's almost 11 o'clock. I've been up since 4.44 a.m., and I'm ready to hit the sack. I'm ready. I'm like I'm like uh, with, uh, one of my friends. He has this, uh, what does he call it? The um, insomniac circle. But I'm going to get me some sleep tonight. I'm going to go to sleep in peace, knowing that today I tried to minister and to reach out to that stranger. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see the love coming up. I'm ministering to that stranger right there. Whoever that is, is giving out that love right now. I don't even know who you are. I don't know where you're coming from. I don't know what you're doing. But I do know that God sent me. He wouldn't let me go to bed unless I reach out with this throwback Thursday. What? Throwing back to the scripture. Going, throwing back to the old. This, you see that? That's an old. That's a, a nice Bible, but it's, it's an old Bible. All right, Renee, yeah, 4.15 a.m. for me? Yeah, so you understand. We've been doing this for a long time. We're about to hit this sack. We're about to roll out here. But, 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 Renee, what do you think about this concept that I gave you just before I go, since you're here, about loving that stranger? Does a stranger deserve some love? Have you ever loved a stranger and got blessed? Have you, and what I mean by love, I'm not talking about having any sexual intimacy or anything like that. I'm just talking about just allowing the love of God to flow through you in such a way that you can give that person a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, a word of encouragement, a blessing. Have you ever received any of that love before? Or have you ever given that love and has it been a blessing to you? I'm just talking about strangers. Not people that you know, but somebody you just didn't know just off the street. Has that ever happened to you? I see some love. So I wonder, has that happened? Have you ever had that encounter? Uh, I'm going to take it that you do have that encounter. And I'm going to take it that it is some love. Listen, this is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I got to go. I'm sleepy now. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep your hands clean and your heart pure. I want you to love somebody tomorrow, that stranger. Do something good. Do, maybe do one of those, start one of those chains over there at Starbucks. Yes, yes, yes. Pure love, Almighty God. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad. This is what I want you to do. Start something like this tomorrow. Pay it for it. Maybe, maybe buy a, 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 a Oprah Chai soy latte for the person that's behind you, or just give give the person some money if you go if you're going to get in Starbucks line or McDonald's line. Say, look, I'm gonna pay five dollars on whatever that is. Start a love 
uh, a love uh, dynamo situation tomorrow. Love on some stranger. And I'm going to tell you, that love is going to come back to you in such a way that's going to bless your socks off. And then we're going to have some fun talking about it in the time to come. God bless you. This is Pastor Omar. Keep your hands clean and your heart pure. I'm going to love you forever. And there's nothing you can do about it. But receive that love and give it to somebody else. Peace and blessing. I'm out.